Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are comparing a pair of real Ray-Ban round metal sunglasses that I bought directly from the Sunglass Hut for $154 against a pair that I bought on eBay for only $61. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so first off, the pair here to the left is our Sunglass Hut pair that I paid $154 directly from Sunglass Hut's website. And then the pair here to the right is our eBay pair that I paid $61 for new of tags brand new guaranteed 100% authentic however just from looking at the boxes I can already tell that the eBay pair doesn't seem to be real so as far as all the dimensions go both these boxes are basically identical it really isn't going to be a difference between the dimensions the fakes are spot on but if you guys are looking closely you probably already noticed there's a difference between the real and the fake sunglasses in the paint here on the box so here on the real we have this matte texture here and there's a lot of texture here on the cardboard box so if we bring the box a little bit closer we can see all that texture and all that detail here on the real sunglasses but if we take a look here at the fake sunglasses we don't have any of that texture just basically a nice shiny material and it doesn't look nearly the same as it does here on the fake so just from looking at the boxes I know the real ones here down below and the fake one is here up top next thing we're going to do here on the box is we're going to take a look here at the sticker now the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to take a look here at the little Luxottica sticker here on the bottom of the box and here we can see there is quite a big difference here we can see on our fake ebay pair the red label that goes all the way around is actually square you can see it comes to a point on all four sides but here on the real it's nice and smooth also we can see the information is different and the fake pair actually has a qr code and the real pair doesn't have a qr code it has like a serial code there is a difference on the fakes we can see the little boxes here that make it a qr code but here on the real it's actually Actually a serial code. So if we take our phone out here to the camera app, we can actually give this QR code a scan. And here we can see it actually takes us directly to Ray-Ban's website on the fake pair because why in the world would Ray-Ban put a QR code to their website on a real pair of sunglasses? That doesn't make any sense at all. I don't know why, but all the fake sunglasses from China have this QR code here now, which means that they are actually fake. We're here on the real. Again, it's a serial code, which is not a QR code. And if I actually go ahead and try to scan this code, we can see it doesn't scan because it's not a QR code. So here again on the fakes, it has a QR code and here on the real it doesn't but of course if you're buying a pair of sunglasses you're definitely not spending the money for the box you're probably going to pull the sunglasses out and then throw away the box but the reason why i mention it is because it is a telltale sign that your pair of sunglasses is fake if it does have that qr code okay so let's go ahead and pop the top open on the real sunglasses that i bought from the sunglass hut here and here we can see it comes with a ray-ban case now if we go ahead and pop the top off of the fake pair of sunglasses we can see it also comes with a ray-ban branded case and and here we can see these cases are two different colors. You guys don't have to worry about that because Ray-Ban actually does ship all their sunglasses with a ton of different color cases. Most likely it's going to be the black or it's going to be a brown case. I'm also nitpicking here, but the Ray-Ban logo is more sharp and easier to read here on the real sunglasses than it is on the fake. We're here on the fake. It's a little bit harder to read, but really not a big difference there. The companies that make these fake cases are doing a really good job. So it's very hard to spot a pair of fake sunglasses just from the case. So here are the real and we just popped up at the top and we can see they come with the sunglasses here and they also have a microfiber cleaning cloth that is separate from the little uh, rayban.com booklet so let's go ahead and pop the case over here to the side okay so here we have the case here on the fakes and wow there's a bunch of stuff here on the fakes, including this never hide plastic material. If you guys see this, it basically guarantees your pair of sunglasses is fake. I've actually never seen a never hide plastic material on any pair of real Ray-Ban sunglasses that I've ever reviewed ever. I think a long time ago, they actually used to ship in these, but I can't confirm that. All I know is every pair of real Ray-Ban sunglasses that I've ever bought has never shipped with this never hide plastic material. 
So here we can see they have this little icons booklet right here that the real sunglasses actually didn't ship with. Authentic Ray-Ban still sometimes do ship with this little icons uh, manual here, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's real or fake if it does come with that or if it doesn't. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna take a look at is the microfiber cleaning cloth and the little uh, manual here. And here we can see it's separate here on the real and then here on the eBay pair, it's actually together, but Ray-Ban used to ship them together, so that actually doesn't really mean anything. So here if we go ahead and open up this, we can actually see see here on the fake pair. We can see that the fake also does have this Luxottica sticker and it looks maybe a little bit bluer here on the fakes than it does the real. And then it also looks a little bit whiter here on the fake than it does the real. But basically there's really not a big difference between that. So you definitely can't tell the difference between a real or a fake braid band just by the microfiber cleaning cloth and the little menu here. So what you have to do is take a look at the actual sunglasses themselves. So here, once again, we can see another protective material that you're not going to find on a pair of real Ray-Bans. So let's go ahead and pull this cloudy one off. And with this big cloudy uh, protector here, we can see that we also still do have this one, which is, is very thin and not substantial. Here on the real, we can see that little protector that is found on only one side is nice and thick here on the real, where it was thin here on the fakes. Now, something that's super noticeable here on the fake is I ordered the gold frames, but got the silver. So they sent me the silver even though I ordered the gold that way I could do an apples to apple comparison So unfortunately they sent me the silver here on the fakes I guess they really don't care uh, which pair of sunglasses they send you Okay, so changing perspectives here We can see the Ray-Ban logo here on the real is much smaller than the Ray-Ban logo That's painted on the lens here on the fake sunglasses The R and the B are absolutely massive here on the fakes But they are nice and small here on the real It just looks much better and doesn't look nearly as bold here on the real than it does here on the fake. Now I'm sure you guys have also noticed the Ray-Ban logo color is different. Now don't pay attention to that because this just happens to be a limited edition pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses with the gold Ray-Ban logo. But usually the Ray-Ban round metal sunglasses have a white logo. So just pretend that it's white here for this video. All right, so the next big thing here is the little sticker here on the lens. So here on the real, we can see it is a gold color and it's made out of a shiny gold metal color. And here on the fake, it's just this like half gray half gold uh, sticker and it looks absolutely terrible here on the fakes. Again, that's another telltale sign that you have a fake pair of sunglasses if you have a little sticker that looks like this. So let me actually go ahead and bring in the real pair of sunglasses a little bit closer to the lens here. And again, we can see how metallic it is and how it is nice and shiny and glossy and it's gonna come right off the lens. All you have to do is just barely get your fingernail underneath it and it's going to come right off. As you guys can see, as I move it, it's really reflective and looks really nice and pretty. Now let me go ahead and bring in the fake pair of sunglasses here and you guys can see how the fake logo looks. So here on the fake, we can see it looks absolutely terrible and it's not shiny at all and it takes a lot of work to actually get it off the lens. You really gotta scratch and really get your fingernail underneath it to make it come off where the real came off very easily. So here we can see the fake sticker and here we can see it's not nearly as reflective and shiny as the real sticker. So over here to my left, the one that I'm moving right now is the real and then the one that I'm moving right now, here is the fake. And here we can see a huge difference between these two Ray-Ban stickers. All right, so next up, we're gonna use my wife's cooking scale here and we're going to place on the real sunglasses. And here we can see they come in at 29 grams on this scale. And don't worry, this is definitely flour not another substance. Now let's pop on the fake sunglasses here. And here we can see they come in at 28 grams. So let me go ahead and pop on the real one more time, see if this is repeatable. And here we can see it's 29 grams. And then here on the fake sunglasses, they are 28 grams. So here we can see that there is a very, very small difference between the weight of the real and the fake sunglasses with the real sunglasses coming in a little bit heavier. Okay, so next up we're going to break out the 100 millimeter macro lens and put these sunglasses under the microscope to see how they look. Okay, so here we have the real sunglasses and we're gonna take a closer look at the logo here. And here we can see the logo is nice and small and looks really good. It's something that I noticed on a lot of real Ray-Ban sunglasses, they have this little uh, material that actually comes from the case. It's very, very small and you really can't see it very well unless you're looking for it. But here on real Ray-Ban sunglasses, they usually have specs where on the fakes, they usually don't. I'm not sure why and not every 
every pair of real Ray-Ban sunglasses do have these little specs, but it's definitely something to keep in mind. Now again, take a look at this logo and on the real, and then let's move over here to the fake and try to put it in the exact same section. Here we can see on the fake, it is much bigger. And also we can see we don't have any of that little black material here on the lens. So here on the fakes, the lens is much bigger. Look at that R and the B, it's so much bigger here on the fake than it was there on the real. Okay, so next up we're taking a look at the inner top ridge of sunglasses and we're gonna take a look at this Ray-Ban text. And here we can see on the real sunglasses, it looks really nice and sharp. It says Ray-Ban and then it gives us our lens size and our bridge dimensions. So 50, 21, so take a look at that. And now let me go ahead and bring in in the fake pair of sunglasses so we can see how that logo looks. Now here on the fake sunglasses, the logo is much harder to read. It's not nearly as sharp and it looks like a five-year-old drew it where it looks high precision on the real. Okay, so next up we're gonna take a look at the painted on Ray-Ban Made in Italy logo here on the real pair of sunglasses. And here we can see it is really nice and the metal finish is also really nice here on this pair of sunglasses. It's very easy to read and looks really good. Now let me go ahead and bring in the fake sunglasses here. And here we can see the logo isn't nearly as eligible on the fakes as it was on the real. The logo looks much worse. And then the frames just don't look nearly as nice and shiny on the fakes here as they did on the reel. Okay, so next up, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the metal hinges here on the real sunglasses. And here we can see the hinge looks really, really nice and is absolutely flawless. It's nice and tight here where it makes a clamp and connects and holds on to the lens. And we can also see the bottom of the screw sticking out the bottom of the hinge here on the reels. So it's gonna look really nice and clean on the reels. Now let me go ahead and bring in the fake sunglasses. And here we can see on the fake sunglasses, the build quality isn't nearly as good on the hinge. It looks much cheaper here on the fake. And here we can actually see a little gap where it actually doesn't connect fully like it did on the real pair of sunglasses. So quite a big difference right there. Okay, so next up, we're gonna take a look here at the nose rest on the real sunglasses. And if we look closely, they did like a surface etching. So they didn't actually drill into it. They just did a nice little surface etching of the RB. And this logo is found on both the nose rests. Now let's go ahead and bring in the fakes. And the fakes, also also actually do have an RB logo. But here we can see the RB logo looks much worse on the fakes than it did on the real. We can actually see that the logo is pressed in where it was on the surface of the other. So quite a big difference between the nose rest RB logo on the real and on the fake. Next up, we're gonna take a look at the etched RB logo here on the real. And here in the real, we can see it looks really nice and very sharp, very clean. They did a good job, it's very eligible. And then here on the fake sunglasses, we can see that the position is a little bit lower here on the fake. And also we can see the logo doesn't look quite as good on the fakes as it did there on the real. Not a big difference, but definitely something to note here. Okay, so this last one's going to be a little bit hard to demonstrate, but here, take a look at the frames and look how beautiful they are here on the real. They're just very sharp and very nice. And you can tell that it's very high precision and same with the hinge here, it just looks very high quality. Now let's go ahead and bring in the fakes. And here on the fakes, I'm not even gonna lie, they look absolutely terrible. They don't look nearly as good here on the fakes as they do on the real. And also take a look at how sloppy the hinge is here on the outside. We can see the gap there, it looks absolutely terrible and not nearly as nice here on the fake as it did on the real. Okay, so back here to our standard view, we can definitely tell that the fakes look fake and actually look really terrible. And when you put these fake sunglasses on your face, it even looks worse. It's hard to explain. And the difference between these two sunglasses are night and day to me. This pair looks like something you'd buy from a cheap grocery store. And the other pair looks like a pair you'd buy right from Saks Fifth Avenue. There's really a big difference. And also the last big issue when buying a pair of fake sunglasses, they actually don't offer 100% UVA and UVB protection. So unfortunately wearing fake sunglasses can make you go blind. I recommend buying one of these little UV detectors here and taking them out here in the sun. Right now it's overcast, so there's basically no UV rays, so I can't test it out, but I've tested it out on a ton of fake Ray-Ban sunglasses, and the fakes almost never actually have UV protection, where the real, of course, offer 100% UVA and UVB protection. That's all I got for you guys in this video. Let me go ahead and pop on the real Ray-Ban sunglasses so you can see how they look on face, and as you guys can see, they look really, really good, very sharp and very clean 
screen. Now let me go ahead and pop on the fake sunglasses and instantly putting on these fake sunglasses, they feel much worse on the face. They just sit bad on the face as well. The nose rests need to be adjusted, I guess. And the proportions of these sunglasses just really don't look good. So let me take off these ghastly sunglasses and pop on the real ones one last time to show you guys how they look on face. And again, this is the real pair and you guys just saw the fake, which look absolutely terrible. Well, hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time about a brand new video, just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.